Welcome to Genshin Impact, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete all nine of the ghost quests in the update 2.2. Keep in mind, you need to complete the first three main quests for this island before you can get started. All right, to start the first quest, you're going to need to go by the Statue of Seven. There's going to be a shell on the ground. Pick it up, and this will start the first quest for the ghost. For this one, you need to go and find four treasure map fragments. I'm going to show you the locations to each one of them. Afterwards, you just go back to the Statue of the Seven where you're going to find the ghost again. He's going to give you the full map. Go to the location, dig up the chest, and that will complete the first quest. Okay, so our second ghost is tied into our third one, which is Granny, but I'll go over that one as soon as we complete this one. This one is very simple. There are five different locations that they will appear. You're going to have to give them this item. I'll show you how to get the item, but keep in mind our third ghost is going to give you this item for free. It's very simple and easy to get this item. Just go to the shrine that I'm showing you right now, but just check your inventory because you probably already have a bunch of them in there. So in order to complete this one, just go to the five different locations, give them the item each time, and that will complete this quest, and then we'll move on to the next one.
Okay, so now our third ghost is Granny, and this is tied into the last one. When you open that chest from the last quest, you got a wooden box. So the catch with Granny here is you need to do this five days in a row, right? So after every reset, you wanna go up to her and talk to her. Next reset, go up to her, talk to her. Next reset, so once it's five full days, talk to her one more time, and then after the conversation, talk to her one more time, and you're gonna give her the wooden box that you got from the second quest, right? And then finally, this will complete this quest. So you wanna do this one as soon as possible because it's gonna take the longest, unless you have really bad luck with fishing. Okay, so our fourth ghost is a bit grumpy, but you're going to find him in between the peak and the shrine in that underground area towards the middle. All you need to do is pick up the five blue mushrooms and then that ghost will appear. He's gonna chew you out a bit and then disappear. After that, you have to wait a full 48 hours in real time for those blue mushrooms to respawn again. Once they do, just go back to the location, pick up all the mushrooms again, talk to the ghost, and then he's gonna ask you to give him six mushrooms. You'll be able to find all of them in the first region. After we get the chest, I will show you where you can find these mushrooms in the first region, but most likely you already have them in your inventory. But if you do, just use the timestamp and skip ahead to the next ghost. Take them. I have no need. Okay, so time for our fifth ghost, and this one's gonna be dependent on how lucky you are with the fishing. So just go to this location right here, fish for one fish, and then afterwards the ghost is going to appear. That ghost wants you to find its charm. So you need to go to the second fishing location on this island, which is gonna be hidden with a new gadget. So just use that gadget and then that fishing location will appear. So this part can be annoying. You're gonna to have to keep fishing either day or night until you get its charm. Now for me, I was unlucky and I did not get it after I fished every single fish out of the spot and I had to wait a full three days for the fish to respawn again. So just keep that in mind. If you don't get it, you're gonna have to wait three days for them to respawn again. And then I was able to get it on the first fish. So go figure. Now you probably can jump into a friend's game and try to get it that way or just wait the three days. But once you get the charm, just go back to them to complete this one.
but a momentary distraction. All right, so we're on number six, and the next couple ones are going to be a lot easier because they're not going to be trapped behind any kind of time gate. So for this one, there are going to be 40 storm stones on the map that you need to light up with electric. So after we talk to the ghost, I'm going to pull up the map. I recommend that you pause it and then mark each one of these locations on your map and then go to each one of them and light them up with lightning. Then go back to the ghost to finish the quest.
Okay, so for our seventh ghost, this one is going to be extremely simple. Just go to the location I'm showing you right now, talk to the ghost, and then there's going to be a second location right by the shrine that you're going to go to. You're going to have to defeat the one enemy 
then dig at the spot and that will complete this one. The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Shine down! Leave it alone! But a momentary destruction. Alright, so for our eighth ghost, this one likes to play a bit of hide and seek with you. So after you go to the first location, he's gonna hide four more times. So I'll show you each one of the locations. Thankfully, they're all around the shrine, so they're not spread across the whole map or anything like that. But after you find him the fourth time, that will complete this one. Hmm. All right, this is it. This is our ninth and final one, the boatman. And all you have to do to complete this one is just complete the eight previous ghosts that we just went through. This is going to get you a total of 250 gems, plus you'll unlock the achievement after you complete this one. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to help support the channel. And I will see you next time. But a momentary destruction. <laughs> <laughs>